Now that you have created your first assessment plan and added the measures, the next step is to create a curriculum plan. In this video you will learn how to develop your first curriculum implementation plan. To get started, select Delivery Plans on the main menu. Then select Curriculum Plans. Click the Create New Plan button. You will now need to provide some details about the curriculum plan. Start by giving the plan a reference code. Give the plan a name. Select the level. This can be level, grade or year. If this curriculum plan is for an apprenticeship, then you will want to select Display Apprenticeship 20%. This will help with your off-the-job training plan. The next step is to select the assessment plan that aligns with this curriculum plan. Then identify the department that this plan belongs to, as well as the plan owner. Curriculum plans can be created in different time blocks. The options are weeks, months, years or terms. In this example, we will create a 15-month program. Now add the date that the plan is effective from. As you will see in later videos, curriculum activities are made up of learning, practice and assessment requirements. Each of these has a text field that lets you provide specific information. However, you can also add additional fields to each of these areas, which you can template. These fields might be titled as resources, differentiation, cross-curriculum links, sequencing or any other information that you think is relevant. You are able to add up to five additional fields in each of the learning, practice or assessment areas. Now you can set the status of the plan and then add a description or guidance for members of staff. When you have added the necessary details, then click Save. You have now created a curriculum plan. In the next video, we will look at how to add curriculum activities.